guys, it's Laura. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today it's again a what I eat in a day video. Apart from what I'm gonna have for my breakfast, I don't have a plan yet. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. The only thing I know is that I'm gonna get a new tattoo today and I thought I might take you with me. So if you wanna know more about my day and about what I'm gonna eat today, then please keep watching. Today, the first thing that I'm going to drink is this herbal tea. I'm drinking a tea that helps my legs so that they won't get swollen so much because that happens to me very often when it gets warm. I will write down below what herbs are in it. And I will take two of these hair caps. These are my new vitamins. I got them in our pharmacy and they double checked for me that they are also vegan. And I'm having two Brazil nuts. So this is what I'm having before my breakfast. I have decided to have pancakes today, which is something I usually don't have during the week. We usually have pancakes only Sundays. But I'm home alone. Jack had to go to a client yesterday in the morning and I thought like, you know, let's have something special because he's not here and I miss him. And I still had a few pancakes in the freezer because whenever I'm making pancakes, I always make like a bajillion of them and there are always enough left for a second round. So I took them out yesterday in the evening so that they would thaw. And that's what I'm having. So I eat them today with raspberries and blueberries. I usually use just agave syrup. This is basically my favorite honey substitute. I love agave syrup. But I also have here something I wanted to try out, which is this sugar-free syrup by my protein. However, I'm not so sure about that. If I like it, it kind of reminds me of maple syrup and I love maple syrup, but not necessarily on pancakes when I'm having them with berries. And also I'm not sure how healthy that is because it's still a sweetener. And I think um, the agave syrup is more natural. So probably the better choice, but I just wanted to give it a shot. So my left pancake is now the sugar-free syrup and my right pancake is the maple syrup. So I devoured the first pancake with the sugar-free syrup. It's actually all right. However, I still feel like I taste the sweetener in it too much. So definitely gonna stick to the agave syrup. But I can see using the sugar-free syrup for several other things where you don't notice it so much. So I'm definitely gonna use it up, but I don't think I'm, I would buy it again. train station. I got myself a box of raspberries uh, on the way here. There's a market in front of this building and this is gonna be my first snack because I feel like I could use something small already. I can definitely tell that the smoothies that we are usually having in the morning are a bit more filling than just, than just a couple of pancakes but that's okay. And the train should be here in about like 10 minutes or something like that. So see you guys later. I am in Brno and I had a really unpleasant surprise because there used to be a vegan slash vegetarian restaurant vis-a-vis -vis from the place where I'm gonna get my tattoo and I just found out it's not there anymore so I have no idea where to eat. It looks like I'm going to end up having fries from McDonald's. You guys, this lunch story does have a happy end. The place was actually still there. I was just too stupid to see it. They don't have only vegan and vegetarian food and that's what fooled me. But the things that I have here are veggie balls, rice and a sauce. They call it the Asian sauce, but it tastes like curry. And that's all vegan. They added also a little bit of salad. So I am having a proper meal and I don't have to eat crappy fries. Now I'm going to go for a walk in the city and I would like to get something to eat 
We found once with Jack a place that also had some raw vegan food, so I will hopefully find it today again. As usual, I am going to go up to the cathedral. That's the place where we've been together the last time when I filmed the vlog here. I will link the video down below. There is a church, obviously. I am not religious. I usually do not go to church. However, it is still a place for me where I sometimes like to sit, light a candle and just say a few things, like a few thanks for things that I'm grateful for. And that's what I'm gonna do now. That was nice. I feel like being grateful Consciously being grateful is super important because I think that we humans very often focus on the things that we don't have, that we want or don't want and being consciously grateful for all the things we have is such a powerful feeling and that's one of the things I'm saying every day in my affirmations also I'm also being grateful for certain things and repeating it because it is so important to acknowledge all the good things that happened to us and that helps me personally to stay focused uh, on rather positive things instead of being sucked uh, by the negativity in this vortex that pulls you further down. So these are my today's wise thoughts. been a while in the vegan cafe anyway they have a free Wi-Fi which is wonderful so I could check my emails I also ex exchanged a few messages with Jack he's written to me that unfortunately his flight has been cancelled so he will fly home I think like two hours later which is pain in the ass but things like that happen there were some technical problems with the plane yeah, and because it's still so beautiful, I feel like walking a little bit around instead of sitting in a cafe. And I think my train goes like in an hour, a half, so I still have some time. So I will probably walk in the city for a while and I might have a tea or a lemonade. Um, at some point before I go to the train station. Plus, honestly, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm traveling, I try to stay hydrated. But it also means I have to pee a lot. So even if I wouldn't want to go somewhere, I would have to because I need to find a loo, you know, at some point. Oh, and I also bought myself these seaweed chips at the cafe. This is gonna be my snack on the way home. I'm at this little cafe not far from the train station. This, this is a place where I've been pretty often. They also have free Wi-Fi and I had a Coke. I don't drink Coke very often, but whenever I drink it, it has to be super cold. So they gave me a glass full of ice cubes. That was amazing. I have to go to the loo and then I will go to the train station. And the one thing that I noticed is that I'm kind of matching the wall behind me. Literally, I have never got my hair that white ever in my life before. It makes me so happy. I know it's the least important thing in the world probably for you guys, but for me it's like, wow, I have finally white hair. I used the opportunity being in the Czech Republic and I bought a birthday present for my dad. I bought him the book Game of Thrones, which is the first book from the series A Song of Ice and Fire, which you for sure know. 
my dad never read the books. I don't think that he was ever watching the show, but I think he would like it. So I thought I'm gonna buy him just the first book and see how he likes it. If he ends up liking it, I think I'm gonna buy him the second book for Christmas and then later on the following books once they will be translated in Czech because my dad speaks a little bit German but he doesn't speak English so I will have to wait then. The best part of today is of course coming back to Hercules. He has a happy tail, see that? That's a happy doggy. I missed him so much. I hate not being with my puppy. So since I knew that I will be gone today for about 10 hours I asked a friend uh, to come over in the afternoon so that Hercules could go out in the yard and she played with him a little bit. She sent me an SMS in the afternoon that he's fine and he was very happy to see her. If I didn't have anyone who would take care of Hercules today in the afternoon, I would have rescheduled the appointment because I don't want him to be alone for so many hours. I guess someone is so hungry, it's time to eat, so I'm gonna give Hercules his dinner. And for me now is time to figure out what should I have for dinner. I have no idea and I have to say I'm also kind of lazy today. So I have here some leftover spaghetti that I will eat with some leftover suga. It says vegetarian bolognese but it is vegan if you read the ingredients and also in the store on the price tag it is marked as vegan. It's really good. Okay, this is really very little, so this won't do, but I will start with that and then we'll take it from there. For whatever reason, I am actually full. I'm not hungry anymore. I thought this is gonna be way too little, but apparently it was enough today, so I'm just gonna stop and this will be my last meal because whenever I feel like I'm full, I don't force myself eating because I think it's very important to listen to your body and that's what I'm always doing. So this is going to be the end of today's video. I hope that you enjoyed today's what I eat in a day vlog. I certainly did enjoy filming it. I always love filming for you guys. And if you ended up liking today's video, don't forget to give the video a thumb up because that really helps the channel. You can also subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. And as usual, I will list and link a lot of stuff in the description box. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next video. Bye.